Okay, and we are back. Welcome everyone to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Alewolf, otherwise known as Ales, Gentleman Streamer, the excellence of an execution, Mama Ales, baby boy. And welcome back to the stream, folks. Today is Friday. Today is the best day of all the days of the week, simply because we are done with uh, the mess that is work at least for most people in the world that is, and uh, just hoping to wrap things up in the office, you know, maybe hand off some of those uh, pesky tasks to yourself next week, and certainly looking forward to a stimulating and memorable weekend. Uh, so yeah, here's hoping that you've had a good morning so far, at least in my corner of the world. If not, here's hoping that you're having a great set of last few hours. Uh, Here's hoping that you tuned into yesterday. Uh, we were playing Link's Awakening and we actually finished it, uh, which is nice. Uh, one more in the bag, as they say. Uh, the final fight with the Nightmare wasn't uh, too challenging. What was challenging, though, was what followed in the sense that we were trying to collect the last Bow Wow figure. To collect the set of like 10 collectible dolls that the game has to offer uh, some very wonky uh, crane game physics certainly prevented me from uh, having a grand old time during the, my last few hours in that game um, but today is a new day today uh, we turn a new leaf uh, we turn a new leaf by going back to a game that we've been playing for quite some time this is monster hunter world in what i like to call the what do I like to call this? The modern speakeasy corner, of course. And actually, let me go ahead and launch this game before I forget. And that's important. Um, and now that I've launched it, I should probably turn the sound off on it. But uh, yeah, Monster Hunter World is a game that I played several years ago when it first released. It was a wonderful adventure. Uh, longtime fans of the stream might recall that my preferred weapon is either the Lance or the Gun Lance. Um, for this particular playthrough, I'm actually using the Hunting Horn, which is my, I want to say, number three favorite weapon. In the trifecta that I like to call least popular Monster Hunter weapons. So I think I've been doing some good progress. Uh, surprising because generally when you think of a Hunting Horn player, you think of a support player. I've been mostly playing and, comp and moving forward with the story on my own. So uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the progress are you um before we go any further though uh, why don't we just start talking about what's what's on tap today because you know what it's uh it's a lovely day it's a it's a good time to start with something strong and you know generally i like to start with um lighter beers generally i like to drink a pale ale or a golden ale or a hazy ipa perhaps today i'm starting with an amber ale this one is a dedicated amber ale and as you can see there's a raven there holding a rose for a what seems to be somebody that met an unfortunate fate uh, and it's got this canyon over there no doubt devil's canyon and i say that because this one is actually made by our friends at devil canyon brewery in san carlos california so you might be asking yourself <clears throat> ales what exactly is an amber ale I've heard of red ales. I've uh, I've heard of red dog. Um, what is what is this amber ale? Is it like an amber alert? Do I have to check my phone for that text message? And uh, I, to that I would say you're making a lot of assumptions. I I don't know where you're getting all this stuff from. An amber ale uh, is a type of beer uh, popular. Uh, I want to say probably in, mostly in the Western world. It is mainly. Uh, a pale ale so it, it's actually very similar to pale ales golden ales and all that stuff the difference between that and your conventional ale is that you pitch in a bit of darker malts uh, the malts that you would use for stouts and porters things like caramel malts crystal malts and chocolate malts you actually just add a little bit of it and what it does is that it gives this beer this very hybridized color it uh it makes it more red slightly brown i i, I like to think of it as a, like a ruby red 
which is kind of nice it's kind of uh, interesting and so you have the refreshing lighter notes of a pale ale but in it you actually give it some more body you give it a bit of a caramel uh, taste to it and you add like a little bit of like that fresh bread type of taste that you encounter more with like more toothsome stouts uh, I certainly love them and I uh, and I really like my amber ales they're generally a little bit stronger in alcoholic content than your conventional pale ales simply because of that extra coloration there and uh, yeah otherwise they're just like fun to see that it's nice it's nice to have like this brownish red beer in your hands to to enjoy but those are my thoughts on it why don't we go ahead and see what uh, Untapped has to say on the matter. And let me pull that right over here. And let's go over here. And let me maximize. Uh, no, I think we're fine in terms of the size. So, dedicated amber ale. I do wish that uh, Untapped actually had a dark screen mode. 5.4% uh, alcohol by volume fairly decent another devil's canyon classic brew dedicated amber ales to the test of time over the last 20 years because it is a solid delicious amber near to dear to our hearts caramel malt and cascade hops are perfectly balanced in this beer uh, dedicated amber is the cool jam band of beer if this beer were an iconic rock band you'd want to follow it around the country this amber ale begs the question are you dedicated uh, I like uh, the very colorful poetic description here. I don't know that you made too many points in terms of flavor, but uh, I'll give you a pass. I like this uh, groupy metaphor that you've got going on there. Um, so yeah, as you can see from some of these pictures, it's actually relatively reddish. So let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and give this a taste. <coughs> and today we've got a, a special treat for thine eyes. We've got Thus Boot which is so one of my favorite gigantic beer glasses uh, famously used in Germany of course Das Boot is as you can guess in the shape of a boot and if we hold this right here we can actually kick churro kick like that bonk um, the nifty thing about Das Boot is that you have to be careful when you drink it you know you think you're having fun you think you're drinking from a boot and uh, then you just pour beer all over yourself. The trick, and let me just explain why after I pour this. Here's hoping those ASMR effects are coming through. And there we go. So, uh, this is a uh, this is dedicated amber ale as you can see slightly reddish a little bit of orange some brown uh, Very nice color. I want to say the thing about drinking a straight from a dust boot is this particular heel makes everything This is where the magic happens essentially and so if you're going to drink it like this What's gonna happen is you're going to collect a bunch of air as it seeps in over here And at some point the pressure is gonna be enough that there's gonna be a giant bubble that foams up and goes all the way to your face so never do that definitely try and drink from the side so drink this way straight as if uh, the boot is either facing left or right towards you um, okay uh, so let's do that uh, before we actually move on let me go ahead and give this a whiff uh, kind of like a nice little light roast certainly some good caramel notes there a little bit of maple uh, the paleness definitely still comes through Fang and nail, dear viewer. So I wanna say, again, <clears throat> caramel notes do come through. There's a little bit of toasted coconut there, which I kind of enjoy. Very little bitterness. Whatever is there is actually actually serves to close the beer it doesn't actually like pop right into your face it just kind of closes it it takes the maltiness that you encounter and, and just like cinches it and wraps it <clears throat> around your tongue again a little bit of sweet uh from that those caramel flavors 
I want to say relatively light in body composition um, maybe like a 2 2.5 tops and that's one of the nice things about amber ale specifically once again because you've got those uh, additional darker malts in there it does give the beer a slightly more robust body than you would encounter from a standard lager or pilsner so quite delicious let's go ahead and give this guy a rating we've had this a couple of times before uh, let's give it a 3.25 today it's actually quite toothsome and we unlocked the promotion of course because why not but yeah, that is a uh, that is dedicated amber ale. Um, but let's uh, let, let's move on to other things. Uh, of course, one of the one of the things that you might notice immediately, uh, number one, is that I'm a weirdo for wearing all this stuff. But number two, I do have a bit of a cold, so I will go ahead and apologize ahead of time if I sound a little bit uh, strange or con or congested. Or if I need to take a break to take a cough, then then I will have to do that, unfortunately. Uh, and of course, nothing irritates a throat more than having uh, alcohol. So so there is that. Uh, the other thing, uh, let's talk about a few more fun things. Actually, uh, before I leave the idea of like beers, I am doing one fun thing this very weekend. I'm going to a can beer festival. Let me see if I can find something something on that. Can Beer Festival San Carlos. Uh, here we go. So here we go. Let's go over here. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually going to the West Coast Craft Can Invitational 2024 this Saturday. Very excited about it. Essentially, the idea is that you go to Devil's Canyon Brewery and a lot of craft breweries from the region actually get together and they uh, essentially pour beers for you to sample and for you to taste. And, and you know, it's not like this thing where you go and you just get hammered or anything like that. It's actually, you do it to sample things. Nobody's also spitting things out like if it was a wine tasting or anything like that. You you kind of drink what you well, you get poured and you sample it and and then maybe you decide in the future to visit that craft brewery or whatever so i'm pretty excited about that and the main reason for that is that uh since the pandemic started i actually have not been to a single beer festival uh like this uh for well since before the pandemic started so uh pretty excited about it here's hoping to take a few photos here's hoping to definitely imbibe and have a have a good time so yeah, looking forward to that and, and the reason why I jumped off of that is because it's actually happening at the Devil's Canyon Brewery. Uh, so if you are there, uh, look for me. I will be uh, drinking beers. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I've also been watching Free Ren. I feel like I've talked about this a number of times already. Uh, Free Ren, of course, is the tale of a very long-lived elf. Uh, she was part of the original Heroes Party that defeated the Demon Lord like, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago or something like that. Uh, it's, been, it's been quite a good time. Uh, the most re some of the more recent developments is that they picked up a priest called Sign. He was originally hesitant to um, join the party because he wanted to stay in his hometown to like be the town's priest. Uh, but Freeren decided to convince him because she thought that he was very similar to him in the sense that he was very hesitant to, to leave his town and start adventuring because you could see in her own memories that she she definitely values the idea of having adventured, gone on adventures with her original party. And so it's quite touching. <clears throat> he essentially kind of acts like a grown-up, uh, the grown-up to the younger members of the party. Uh, which is kind of kind of interesting how they play off of each other um, especially because the two younger members of the party uh, Fern and uh, Stein are constantly uh, bickering with one another because they they've uh, they fostered a, a relationship between them so it's all it's all very cute it's all very reminiscent reminiscing uh, and uh, one of the things that uh, I think one of the things that I saw while, while I was watching yesterday's episode, I think I'm like in episode 16 or 17 or something like that. Um, Sign decides to part ways with the party. 
and for a moment there I thought well you know you've had this great wonderful time with with our friends here how can you how can you leave them now but at the same time the reason why he set out on this grand adventure was to follow his friend who was the person that inspired him to become an adventurer in the first place and you can see that he has these wonderful memories you you feel like this very intense friendship between them and even though they haven't seen each other in like 10 years he's just like I gotta, I gotta, I don't know if he's alive, I, I gotta go after him. Um, so, kind of a bittersweet note to end that, uh, that couple of episodes. I'm wondering if he will come back. I, I'm sure that we will see him again. Uh, very, very, very interesting what happened. Uh, in terms of other significant things that I've been watching, uh, I guess I've been watching My Demon on Netflix. Uh, of course, My Demon is a, is a Korean drama. Um, and of course, if, if you know anything about me, you, you know that I do enjoy Korean dramas. Uh, my demon is the story of this demon, essentially, who uh, has lived for a very long time. And his main job is to uh, make humans sign contracts so that they lived, live well for like about a decade. And then after that, he takes their souls. And so he's been doing this for hundreds of years. And uh, more recently, in the present time in Korea, of course, he meets this woman who is like the, the head of this conglomerate. Um, she is being targeted, targeted to be killed. Um, they cross paths, and due to a series of events, he loses his powers to her. Not not in the way that you think. They don't actually exchange powers. What happens is that the tattoo that he has, uh, which is in the shape of a cross, that. Uh, <clears throat> holds his powers apparently is transferred to her and so the only way for him to actually uh, use his powers is to hold her hands which which leads to this very uh, fun series of like moments where he's holding her hand and he's looking at her very longingly and it's it's kind of just like this is very you kind of just like soon along with them because they're just like this is happening I, I can't believe you are you're looking at me and we are looking at one another and time slows down uh all in the meantime while well, he's using his powers and like killing off uh, bad guys who are like decided to like destroy them because right now he's acting as her bodyguard and she's of course the heiress to this uh, gigantic empire i'm having a very good time watching it i recommend all of you watching watch it if, in case you enjoy korean dramas i think i'm about four episodes in so having a pretty pretty darn solid time there uh but i think that's it in terms of things that i've been kind of just catching up on uh i do have one question of the night let me go ahead and post that what content are you looking forward to in 2024 and, and of course um it could be any sort of content it could be a movie it could be a tv show it could be a game an album perhaps uh, and actually, now that I think about it, an album, I am looking forward to that new Taylor Swift album that was recently announced. So there's that. Um, but in terms of other things, uh, I want to say definitely looking forward to the um, expansion for Elden Ring. And I'm certainly looking forward to uh, Hades 2 whenever that does release. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you want to experience in 2024. And we can chat about it. But with that... Let's go back to Monster Hunter World. And let me go ahead and change the category. Uh -huh. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are solid. <clears throat> all right let's make it happen captain uh, and of course as you might recall i am using an xbox controller which is attached to my computer because why not you know honestly now that i have a playstation 5 i i do wish that i had gotten this game uh on playstation 4 i guess and i could play it through there just because now every time I actually have to exchange from like game window to like streaming window, there's like a lag. It's very frustrating. 
Let me create an online session. The first Wyverians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdaros is. <clears throat> Ah, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. So, um, as you might recall, I'm in the process of trying to find the first Wyvarians because apparently they might have a clue. Blues clues. All right, so let's check our bound bounties. The quicker picker upper. And no deliveries to complete at this time. One of the things that I guess happened off stream is I finally got a full Radaban set. As you can see, I am wearing a Radaban, Radaban, Rotoban, Radaban armor. And so is my Palico. He kind of looks like a weird astronaut or something like that. I guess I also look like a weird heavy metal a a astronaut. Astronaut, astronaut. An astronaut. Uh, let's see where my farm is at. I know from studying trees and that plants have experienced a series of growth spurts throughout their lives. But I had no idea that the elder dragons migrating here could be a source of nourishment, let alone THE reason for it. I must say, I am convinced, that is, unless you have a better explanation. So how can I help you? Uh, okay. So not full yet. It's gonna be a while. Uh, let's check out the tail raiders. I think I already I sent them out fairly recently. And of course, we are a beers, alcohol uh, friendly stream. But all that being said, do not neglect your water intake. It'll help you process any particular drink you're drinking, it'll rinse your taste buds and it'll keep you hydrated. And as Kitana once said, water is the element which brings life. I should really get an alert for that. Where is the Tail Raider Safari? Actually, let me go ahead and check to see if the sound is where it needs to be. Yeah, everything is at a hundred. Uh, let me know if I need to adjust my sound. The first Wyverians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdaros is. <sighs> sure, they will. I guess we're, I'm just gonna get um, some stuff. And then let's go and search for those first Wyverians, I guess. <clears throat> and they do happen to be in the ancient forest. And in case anybody is interested to know, we do have an ad break coming in about three minutes. <sighs> such is life, such is life. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, I forgot to eat. Maybe I should eat. Let's go with the standard meat platter. To your health. And it is bubbling already. Welcome in, I go. Brother, your words still ring true. Thank you for yesterday. Got out of the colonoscopy. colonoscopy. They found polyps, but they removed them, and I'm so happy else. Uh, well, I'm glad that it worked out. Hopefully you're um, feeling... Uh, I can't imagine what it must feel like.
to uh, have uh, any removed tissue. I'm hoping that it was like small, smaller, smaller tissue, and that's why you're still, you know, feeling okay. Um, never had a similar procedure like that, but here's hoping to your health. Um, in I go. Also, welcome in I go. It's important to certainly treat these things as early as possible, I always say. So, I'm glad that you followed your doctor's advice. Nice shades. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that is a good alert. Very confirmational. Nice shades. Yeah, so funny thing. These are the shades that I got for that very brief period of time where I had to wear glasses. And I couldn't wear contact lenses because I had an eye infection. So... I thought, well, I still need to wear shades in order to do the stream. I might, I should probably get uh, goggles that fit over my glasses. But I thought that I should put them in rotation. <clears throat> First, why vary in footprints? Let's go and try to see if we can. There we go. Where shall we go? There is something here. Oh, that's Anjanath. Anjanath? <sighs> the thrill of the hunt, of course. Because I am hungry like the wolf. There was an earthquake right now. Was it a uh, was it a strong earthquake? Was it uh, very long? I hope you're safe. I haven't felt it in my nook of the woods, so I, I'm imagining that. Well, first of all, I, I guess I don't know where you actually live, but uh, I am hoping that it was only slight. Southern California. I guess I am technically, well, I guess I'm Bay, Bay Area, so. But yeah, hopefully it wasn't too strong of a magnitude. I'm always scared uh, whenever uh, we get uh, earthquakes. And of course, I believe an ad is coming up very soon. Uh, so I grew up in a place where there was a lot of earthquakes fairly frequently. They were like 10 second affairs from my recollection. And I was always f freaked out because I was a small kid. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of that here. Now let's defeat this pig who is threatening our way of life. Got him. And I can see that the ad is going, unfortunately. It is, this is, place is kind of dark, isn't it? Quite dark. Let me increase the brightness just a bit here. Uh, video. Brightness. Let's see, adjust the brightness on the screen until the symbol on the left is barely visible. Okay. Now it is barely visible. Actually, the midpoint is actually quite good. Wow, that's a lot better. Why was I running with such dark um, settings? That's weird. Okay, where to next? Oh, I guess we have to go up. We gotta jump. Thunder bug, a bug. Yeah, I don't know, are they? Ooh, what is this? It looks kind of gross. Old gashes. 
I think it's funny that um, every time you find anything in this game... Wait. Oh, there you are. For some reason, I couldn't see her for a second. Ooh, a flower bed. Let me pick some flowers. Some sun bloom for our troubles. I guess now that we're in expedition mode, we don't have to worry about wasting time picking things up, <clears throat> which is nice. It's always nice. It's nice to be nice. Nothing can stop us. Well, what about uh, monsters? Whoa. Definitely somebody's hideout. It's like this looks like a well lived location. <clears throat> the trail seems to stop here. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Where are all the Pokemon going? Ooh, okay. Rathalos. Or... Rathian? No, it is definitely a Rathalos. Okay. I wasn't expecting this kind of fight today. He's gonna leave us alone and let us go, right? That's the plan. Boom. Good thing I have all of this rocky, leathery armor. Not that I think anybody would have survived that regardless. <coughs> Definitely not me. My knees would have been pulverized. Is it an elephant graveyard? Wow. Oh, wait, it's Monra. Found you. It's like, no, you fell into my house. Is he actually saying the things or no? You wish to know where you may find a dragon with a mountain of fire upon its back. Hmm. I possess that knowledge, but you are not yet worthy. Only one who stands at the top of the food chain. Only once you have conquered the fire wyvern and horned wyvern that have descended upon the forest and the waste. Only then will you be worthy. Okay. So I guess I have to. Fire and horned wyverns. I guess we're supposed to hunt those two monsters. It must be referring to Rathalos and Diablos. Want to return to base and prep? Uh, yeah, I guess. Why does it say Hunter Rathalos? I wonder if I actually have to take the mission. I can't just like uh, proceed. Ooh, what is this? We're so close. Let's go check that out. I think this might actually help us get our next Palico tool. Since we're already here anyways. I don't know that we go to the treetops very often. Oop. Hello. Wait a second. Get back here. Why is there a pig on a tree? Hmm. But where did they go? Oh, is it? Does it keep going here?
that uh, random bone pile. We do need our bones. Calcium, as they say. Okay, so where did that little cat go? Where does my pouch signal? <clears throat> oh, that's just something to collect. Okay. Where to next? So this is where I cross paths with that pig. Wait. Where is it asking me to go? Over, oh. There was some other path here. Hey, you. It's like Alice in Wonderland. <clears throat> I just randomly missed him, didn't I? Trapper Doodles, almost there. I think we could build the camp here. Let's That's ahead, great. I'm not really interested in that right now. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, well there's, at least it's definitely the case that we're on the trail. And we go up. This uh, forest is kind of a mess. Where are we going? <clears throat> kind of, totally a mess. How high can it go? Ooh, there's the friends. Nya nya nya. Okay, fine, I'll hear you out. What business do you have with the bug trappers? We're here on an investigation and we can really use your help. Nya nya nya. We hope you could we could become friends. Nya nya nya. Friends, you wish to become a member of the bug trappers. <clears throat> nya nya. And the other one wants this as well. Ah oh, yes, my Meowster is the bravest fighter in the whole research commission. You are fleet of foot and know of the forest paths. I suppose you are qualified. I suppose. Very well. We welcome you into the Bug Trappers. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I wonder if this is how cats really talk to each other. Our warriors carry this gadget as a symbol of our tribe. Take it. Nya nya nya. When you need it, help. Call us. We will answer. And we got the flash fly cage, of course, um, which is a new tool that the Palico can uh, use as opposed to the flash fly cage. I don't know why I would use it instead of the flash fly cage, but it's nice to have. <clears throat> we love flower power here. Okay, so some mandragoras. Let's uh, let's go back to camp. I think we still have to hunt a rathalos though. Let's go find that rathalos. Ah, <sighs> itching for a fight.
Wait, where is it? Where am I going? Oh, down. Ah, oh, that just feels slimy. Lead hunter. I guess one of them decided to come along with me, which is nice. Ooh, what is this? Oh, uh, just some IV from Soul Calibur. Where am I going? I think they're suggesting I go in that direction. Yeah, like, like I said, if I were to jump anything like that, uh, uh, I my bone, all of my bones would probably shatter from my foot all the way to like my knees at least. And more. <clears throat> what are you... Okay. I'm just trying to avenge my father. And like I said, most of, mostly the reason is that, that this is the only monster that will give me moss wine hide. Where are we going? Over there? Ooh, gashes. Where am I supposed to? Okay. I think it's that way. Up. So why did it ask me to drop? I gotta tell you, some of these uh, instances where the fireflies seem to just suggest a location is like so backwards. It's not necessarily the cleanest way to suggest where I should be going. Actually, before I forget, I should probably equip my, um... Oh, I have no flash pots, huh? Okay, fine. I'm sure I'm collecting a lot of bugs today. At least it's daylight now. A little more visibility. Vis a vis. <sighs> so tired of following Blue's clues. Ooh, I think he's sleeping. And. Oh. You know, now that I think about it, I probably should have put some bombs. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Oof. Hey, wait, wait, what is happening here? Oh, come on! Fire water? <laughs> ah. Well. Convenient. Okay, so does that mean I have to go all the way back up to fight him? Can he just come here? Why don't you come over here? Ah, oh, what a pesky dragon. Ooh, doodles. There was doodles somewhere. I like doodles. Ah, oh, they're too high up. Yeah, I guess I do have to go all the way back up. But before I do, some liquid courage. All my love too long ago. <sighs> oh, 
Let's prove our might. <clears throat> Just gonna activate my song. And actually, while I'm at this, I'm gonna just sharpen up my club. Because, of course, clubs need to be sharpened. All of those uh, polygonal edges. Ah, I really hope that we don't get another cascade like that again. That is just problematic. Like he's around here. There he is. All right, might as well just go for the encounter. This is one of the one of the challenges of facing down a Rathalos is kind of just the fact that he is aerial, so he's got that extra verticality. Which is nice because sometimes you can bring him down, but I don't have a flash pod, so that's not happening. Just have to wait for him. or hit his tail. Okay. Get over here, you. And boom. Every day we clubbing. Oof. And circle. He's coming. Get down here. Let's roll in. Oof. That was a close one. He is not happy. The one nice thing about fighting a Rathalos over a Rathian is that they are far less interested in poisoning you with their tails. Ooh, flash flight. Wait, it didn't work? Got him. There we go. Now it's a softer spot. Where are you? And Beyblade. And Beyblade again. Roll. And roll again. Oof. And let's do this. Boom! Mm. 
Nice. Ah, he's not happy. Whew. That was a crazy round. But a good one. Let's sharpen up. It was nice that this member of the tribe decided to join us. Um, because <clears throat> he does bring flash flies. And those, in theory, can knock Rathalos off the ground. If he actually watches them when they explode. Where am I searching for? Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, what was that? Oh, just a flower bed. And again, it's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about the time limit for this particular mission. But I certainly wouldn't want to take forever. I do have places to go, people to see. Wait, I want my torch pod back. There he is. play my song. Wait. Why was he there? Okay, that's not what I wanted. Come on. <sighs> Why do you have to make things so difficult? Why do you have to make things so complicated? Is he coming down? Did he just like drop down all the way to my location to like just attack me? I think that's what happened. Okay, well, that was annoying. Let's get more stuff. Uh, let me see if I can get some um, flash pods. Sure, take three of them. He definitely just decided to sneak up on me. Hey, what do you want, Bacon? Remember the buck trappers we made friends with the ancient forest meowster? They taught me how to talk to Jagras. I didn't even know it was possible. So the next time we run into some, I'll try to convince them to join the tail raiders. I'll do my best to persuade them. Wish me luck. No! Why would I leave them behind? How dare you? That doesn't even follow. Can I eat again? Lots of things just happened. Uh, chef's choice. Love a good meal, of course. Don't need to know red pits. Get your pits out of my face. Are we going up or what? Where are we going? Down? We're going down. It looks like it looks like the flash flies are pointing down, like as if I had some sort of appendage that uh, dangles down in that direction. So just so that everyone is clear, I am following said appendage. And we take a dive. I sure wish that they uh, returned with um, swimming in the next Monster Hunter. 
wilds, that is. Where are we going? Okay, now my appendage is pointing in this direction. Wait, we dive again? We dive. Okay, we have to go through this. Not in my wildest dreams would I want to make my way through something like this. I feel like it would like sink in as soon as I go through. Well, at least I'm safe inside my mind. The monster you are tracking will leave the area soon. What? Don't even. Okay. We got a haul butt. How is that remotely fair? It's the goal of this mission. This non-existent mission that is. Where Where is it? Where is this thing? tracking the right thing is is that the problem no it's it is doing the thing that it's supposed to be doing there it is he's just thrashing about play my song of love that the world may hear it do 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 and let me change the flash pods to you calm down take this and smash And sing it. Oh, come on. Move. There we go. And plant it. Go. Wait, is he out? Wait, he's still going. And plant it. Come on. I gotta move. I'm poisoned. Oof, his tail. Ah, Superman dive. And smash. Boom. And backwards, encore. Oh, great. Explosion. I gotta move. I'm about to die. Why do you have urgent muse? What are you talking about? 
What? Meowster calls? When you call a Meowster, they'll let you hop on their back and hitch a ride. Here, I'll teach you how. Oh, that's cool. The Raider ride. Uh, no. Uh, let's go get that. Sure, call him. Where is he? Yeah, you can definitely not call him here, huh? Okay, where are they? I don't see anybody. Is it gone? Is the Rathalos gone? I can't imagine it is. What a waste of time if it has, though. Where is this tail rider? They were lies. They were just like the lies of Andor. Okay, can we call him? There we go. Where's my bee? Okay, let's go. Find the thing, please. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. There's our target. So why did it say that? Nice. Plant it. Soften it like tenderizer. Move. Oof, what was that explosion of flavor? <laughs> Sharpen up at some point. It looks like there's a trap here. Move. Split second decision. Can you come down? I'm not aerial. Wanted to smash him on the air. Oh, I got shoved. Move. Move. Oh, great. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Move, 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 move. <sighs> is he gone? Is he gone? Oh, I see the skull sign. Skull is good. Good is skull. I can't believe I actually survived that. Do we have any flash flies around here? Uh, let's just heal up. Do I have... Mega potion. Potion. No first aid meds. Uh, let's drink up. <laughs> And then let's sharpen up. We are ready. Uh, I would like to say that this was a has been a good fight, but I have been dishonorably discharged. 
um, because I've failed twice already. I think when we get uh, the monster in a combo, he's kind of just reeling. It's like the most exciting thing in the world. <clears throat> but then just like thrashing is so uncouth and unrefined. Uh, that's actually one of the things that I miss about classic Monster Hunter. Excuse me. Just the idea of like, a lot of the locations were like monster boss rooms where you would just go there and fight the monster and one of you would leave whoever lo loses that round. You didn't have this like connected world where you would just randomly fall in a gap and then you would have to make your way up the stairs. I hear him. Wait, I need to activate my thing. Okay, let's go everyone. Is he sleeping? Oh, no point in that. And ah! Golf club, move. Nice. Whoa. And forget me not. Get out of that corner. Okay, it seems like I broke his wing. Roll in, roll out. Ah, he has a high ground, I gotta... Ah. I gotta get out of this area, this is suboptimal for combat. Where are you, you crazy? Down you go, and plant it! Let's go. Oh, what? Come on, it's you or me. Golf swing. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, I gotta get to the... Good. Whew. Just roll into danger here. Again. There we go. Nice. There we go. Come on down. Come on down, you. Beautiful. And smash.
Smash it. <sighs> he is out for the count. Boom. Again, kind of a dishonorable victory though. Simply because we did fail twice. But the job is done. Our first Diablos hunt. Uh, Rathalos hunt, that is. And let's see. We've got an ad in 15 minutes. I think we can push. We can push, I think. Ooh, shinies. So let's get back. Anything else here of note? Nah, I think we're fine. I think we're good. A job well done. <clears throat> I think we might have to Increase the defenses on our armor set. And we got some Tail Raider Unity. Very cool. So now we've got a little buddy whenever we come into the forest, which is nice. Next up, Diablos. <sighs> yeah, you say that as if it was easy. Nobody said any of this would be easy. Can you give me some points? There we go. Uh, let's see what bounties. Completed, gathered honey four times. Exactly what I was looking for. Gathered mushroom five times. Okay, so let's put. We do like the coral highlands. And let's go with um, large monster hunt. <clears throat> let's check to see where our fertilizers are. Oh, it's you. Yeah, who else would you expect? Let's see, four slots out of 20, I think we can keep moving. Okay, where are the tail raiders? Uh, they're still at four quests remaining, so we can let them be. But yeah, like I said, I, I wanna... Let me see if I can upgrade either my weapon or... my armor set. <clears throat> the five dragons in the story? What did they say when the youth asked them why they crossed the sea? I can't remember you. So what are we hammering together this time? I don't know what you're talking about, old man. So, can we go to the next level? No. What about for the metal tree? Metal tree! Fighting polygon team! What is a metal tree? Well, I don't think it shows here. Interesting. No, here it is, the ore tree. So we have that right now. We're at the same level, both rarity fours. And then that's rarity five. We still need new stuff that we haven't encountered yet. How about my charm? Where's the charm I've equipped? Here, maximum upgrade reached. Uh, 
Palico is fine. I just wanted to see if I could change to the flash fly cage. Uh, I don't think I want to do that right now. I think I want to stay safe. How about for the hunter? Performer's charm is good. I think I'll keep the health booster on. And in terms of what are the songs that the great bagpipe gives me? Wind pressure, defense up, impact echo wave. This one gives me earplugs, which I probably should use more often Consider, excuse me, that monsters are constantly um, roaring. Okay. Let me upgrade my armor set. <clears throat> Let's go to level three, shall we? There we go, level three. Gotta be skimping with these things, you know? Beautiful. So a an increase of four points per armor set. It's not bad. Diablos does hit like a truck, so I think this is certainly warranted. You know what I mean when I uh, talk about a Diablos. Dangerous fellows they are. Okay, so we've got some extra defense on our side. We've got two wyverns to tangle with in the ancient forest and the wildspire waste. The fire wyvern, Rathalos, and the horned wyvern, Diablos. I guess the only way forward is to take out both of these monsters and prove that we stand at the top of the food chain. Uh, yeah, you guessed right. <clears throat> so, the horned tyrant. Let's make it happen, Cap'n. Pay some money. Ah, I do love my pompadour. I hope to have a pink pompadour at some point in my life. Let's get our load out. Let's see if we can get um, the Screamer pod. Seems like we have very few of them. Can I actually make some more? Please sir, can I make some more? Some nutrients, max nutrients, max potion. Where is Screamer Pod? I make it automatically, but I have no Screamer Sacks. Well, if there's a time to use them, nah, they're just gonna run out if I use them. I think I can do without. <clears throat> Aww. 
talk about a tough mission. Okay, let's see if we can... Huh, I guess we're gonna have to find it completely outright. We've never seen it before. And of course, Diablos are scary. They're essentially the bulls of the Monster Hunter world. Uh, they will just lunge at you. And you've got no bullfighter cape to save you. I don't know that bullfighter's capes were meant to save you, of course. But it is a fun idea. That there, that there were bullfighters that uh, thought that they would be safe behind the red blanket that they were waving. <clears throat> oh, of course, I will take a god bug. I could, I, I'm going to assume that he's in the largest desert area. That's Baroth. I would love to be fighting a Baroth. Those guys are fun. No, what is this place? Oh, wait a second. There's some little cats up there. Let's go find them. Let's go find the little cats. Why am I smelling footprints? It's probably stinks. And we do love our diamonds. We like to shine bright like a diamond. Where's the little cats? Is it the wrong height? Is that the problem? <clears throat> Try and get up there. Oh, huh, there's an assistant here. There is an assistant here. Honestly, the more the more the merrier. And an ad is about to start. FYE. Where are we going? Did Timmy fall down the well? Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta tell you, sometimes these flash butterflies, scout flies are just difficult to determine where they're headed. You won't believe your eyes with 10 million skywood flies. Now that was a good song. <clears throat> and some more gems, gems. Gem is my name. Some more footprints, and I'm sure we're going to encounter the thing here. So to your health.
cutscene. You know what that means. <clears throat> no, that's Baroth, of course. Your friendly neighborhood Baroth. It's like, hey, wait a second, something's happening. What's that noise? Uh, the other fun thing about Diablos is the fact that uh, he's a digger. He likes to dig. That's not safe. Ad starting soon. That is also not safe. Where are we? Once again, an elephant in graveyard? Wow. That's a face only a mother would love. Okay. Why did I just randomly get hit? Hey, wait. Okay, what happened to my... I need to play my self-improvement song. Okay, let's try this. Come on! And for some reason my chat window's not showing. In case anybody's wondering why I'm ignoring them so blatantly. Can you give me a bigger wasp, please? Where are you? Wait, it's all the way over there? Okay, well, now I can actually look at what happened to my chat. Give me just a second. <sighs> of course, there was no message. So why was I worried about that? I don't know. Let's try and see if we can eat again. When can I eat it again? I can't eat yet. <laughs> when can I eat again? Oh, oh, oh. I've got to know. <clears throat> Such a good song. Such a pity. It's not playing right now. So Rathalos shows up in the the ancient forest, but Rathian shows up in the Wildspire Waste. Seems like they're too far apart to be mates. If you know what I mean. I can eat again now. Whoa, uh oh. 
my meow surgeon sounds like a cat. Well, my meow. Probably need to sharpen up. I feel like every time I perish or I get carded, uh, my weapon doesn't actually sharpen up. <clears throat> oh, we gotta go in. We're going in. Okay, see, this this was the start of the mess. That the fact that I didn't have my music playing. <clears throat> like, if anybody saw Baby Driver, you know that he can only do magical things when his music is playing. Okay. Gotta be a bit more careful here. Uh, no amount of earplugs is gonna save us from that. Whoa! Move! Okay, I gotta... Bigger wasp. Yeah, he's sweeping the floor, just like Daniel San. This guy is just like hiding his head this entire time, even though it's so scully. He's just like, I'm gonna give you the cold shoulder right now. Okay, take this. There you go. Horn broken and songs. Encore. Huh. And soften it up. Okay, we're we're bombing this. First of all, let me sharpen up. Why did he fall asleep? I'm guessing my palico probably did something. Everybody set up us the bomb. Oh, come on. I think he's leaving. Okay, that round actually ended well. Imagine that. Else, the absurd chap actually had a good round against the Diablos. Uh, my uh, honor will still be stained by the fact that I got carded that in the first five seconds. You know, not that I'm a statistician, and I never claim to be, so don't sue me, but I do feel like the most of my cards always come in as soon as I meet the monster. And I don't know what it is. It's like, do they hit harder as soon as you meet them and then not after that? That doesn't make any sense. Once again, I did not claim to be a statistician. Do not, uh, do not send me your taxes for me to complete. I don't know that statisticians really uh, work on taxes. Can you imagine going to like H <clears throat> H and R Block and saying, "Can I have a job? I'm a statistician." I bet they probably wouldn't care. They'd be like, "Yeah, sure. Here's your cubicle." I wonder who that is. Whoa! What is happening? Did I just walk into an orgy? Swing. 
Now, of course, the nice thing about Diablos is that he does not have to... He does not fly. Uh, at least not this variant, anyways. Which keeps him on the ground. But then, of course, he does go underground, which is a challenge all on its own. Where are you going, dude? Ooh, where are you? Ah, oh, digging again. Just trying to knock this guy out. Ah, oh, I got hit. He kind of just swept me. This is just a rough place to fight in the first place. Let's drop. Let's give him a drop. Here we go. Come on down. You know you want to. Come on, use the weapon, use the weapon. Jeez, this guy's draining my stamina. Nice. And plant it! shabby for for one round I don't think I need that bigger wasp need or greed whoa jeez I thought there was still beer in that can and I just dropped it <laughs> uh, the joys of having multiple drinks at your table all right here's hoping that maybe he needs a couple more rounds and then we can actually Finish the fight. Halo, finish the fight. Bobble cactus. It's just one of those bobble cactuses. We don't have a friend. Let's go. Let's go pick up some friends again. There they are. I believe your name is Bidufo. Would you mind tagging along? You are now part of the Besado Rocks. Okay. Oh, we gotta go through these cactuses. Cacti. Cactuizes. He's over there. Everyone. Don't make its noise. But I'm gonna play this song. Okay. Let's make it happen, Cap. Whoa. Let's go deep into the abyss. Did he go? Is he just... Wait, where... Is he? And who is Slade?
I think I just randomly dropped in there for no reason, I guess. He wasn't there. But the hole suggested that it was there. I'm just that type of fella that just sees a giant hole in the ground and I just gotta jump in. Like the movie Holes with Shia LaBeouf. Just do it. Okay, well, my foot, his footprints leveled up. They've been using the charge blade a lot lately. Maybe that's the one. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? Smash! Ugh. Let's do this. Boom. Oh, great. Why does it keep digging? Come on, Mr. Bonyhead. Oh, you mother trucker. Ah, so sad. Waste those things. Know what I'm saying? It's just... Like Sonic says, that is no good. Oh, he never left? Is that what happened? Whoa! Ah, I couldn't save myself. Return of Ganon. Ah. Boom! Ah, I got him. And plant it. Gotta move. Whew, okay. Okay, I think now that's a uh, round over. We can't be that far from beating him. We've wailed on the guy for about 20 minutes now. Where are we going? Where are we going? Scouts. Sailor scouts. Where's the belt pointing at? That way. Kindly tell me that he's reeling. It would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice if uh, he was just like, Oh, I'm tired. I want to just go die. Let's uh, let's go eat some. Do we have any rations? One more. Good. I think we're at full. Full rash. Like, oh, I just want to die now. You know, even if he were to randomly escape, I feel like his head would be totally smashed in. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not happy. Oof. 
going to escape that one. Whew. That would have done me in. Come over here, buddy. Ah, uh, poorly timed. Poorly timed. Move, move, move. Thank you. Jeez. Get me that easily. Move. Oh, jeez, he can't get me that easily. Okay, mega po mega pot. Let's get back in the fight. I should probably reactivate my strength. My hair is my strong. back move oh gosh nice the fruits of life so we've got attack up an echo wave lined up What was that amateurish move? Ailes, you walked into his tail swipe. Okay. Why are you leaving me now? Is that what is that what you meant? Everyone leaves me. Wow, that guy just like dug into his uh, underground like he was going for like some delicious cinnamon toast crunch. Move! Okay, get over here. Now, of course, he's gonna dig under. I just wanted to. Why did I just roll into that? Why? <sighs> I can't even swing the thing properly. Okay. Nicely done, Ailes. You've uh, drank like eight potions. And planted! And now! Ah! That was a bad round. I didn't like that. Write to your congressman about the results of that round. Because that wasn't pretty. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's chase after it. It still doesn't look like it's reeling, so it might take a couple more rounds. Which is sad. It's kind of sad. Ooh. The den of the Diablos. He's not gonna fall asleep, is he? No, he's not. Now, uh, the challenging thing here is just the fact that this area is so small. But you know what? He's stuck in here with me, too. Boom. And smash. You lousy. Move. Ah, oh, wow. So close. I could almost taste it. Why did I roll into him? That is sad. Okay. 
I need to go back to camp and get potions. As soon as this round is over. Though I might get carded first. Honestly, I'm, I'm not being careful at this point because... What the... You and me both, buddy. I'm just running out of stamina for some reason. Oh, I don't even have my primary song on. Let me get one up. Okay, come on. Let's do the work. And eso. Planet. Jeez. Like every single time. I, I knew as soon as he went into that curtain of sand, like, the, it was unpredictable how he was going to show up. Okay, at least we can eat now. We went into the fight unfed. Yes, yes, just make the thing. Okay. And let's also get some potions again. What a sad state of affairs, folks. I thought that I could beat the guy in like two rounds, I want to say. Well, you can stuff your saris in a sack, mister. Ooh, I have... Look at that. I had Screamer Pots that I could use. And I never did. I gotta tell you, though, using the Screamer Pots is not very easy, simply because you have to aim them in such a way that... Diablo's it as, as a specific point when he's uh, underground. You can't simply just throw them. And ads are about to start, unfortunately. I can't imagine that I'll be beating him. <clears throat> During the ad break, that would be anathema. Ooh, stuff. there and I am mining and let me play my beautiful song of Did he not see that I'm here? Where are you going, dude? I almost feel like I should leave him because I kind of hate this place for a fight. I hope he's like, I'm just going to go find a place to die. Honestly, if he wants to fight upstairs, that's a lot better. It's a lot more room. 
Let me not stop him. He's not like wondering, hey, why is there like a weird clickety clack behind me? It's like, oh well. And of course, sometimes he flies. A E I O U U. And sometimes he flies. Here we go. That's the Diablo scream of death. Ah, oh, they didn't get him. Did I? Why did I get hit from that? I was barely there. I call foul. I call foul. No idea where he is. What is happening? I gotta get to a place where you can actually fight because this is dumb. Got him. this guy jeez this magically appears out of every corner of the room move 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 zigzag can you just get the diablos material please that's the only one thing i need okay I'm gonna capture him. I can't I can't afford to keep doing this. I just need better preparation or something like that, but at this point I feel like if I try to go in for the kill, there's a very good chance that he's gonna end me. Just in case though. Two. Boom. First Liberian says he wants to talk to the conqueror of the ecosystem. That's you. Oh, does he? Well, he would want to talk to a rock star. And that's the power of the Keyblade. Take it all. Alright folks, and we probably should have taken a bio break about an hour ago, but uh, 
we didn't, so we have to do so now. <laughs> Having slayed the Fire Wyvern and the Horn Wyvern, <clears throat> you, you have ascended the apex and proved yourself. Now you may know the secret of the dragon that carries the mountain of fire on its back. The dragon hovers on the brink of death, but the light of life is calling to it, drawing it away from its proper grave. It has wandered into the Everstream and lost its way. Now it stands poised to Paris air, brimming with fiery life bringing energy. The Everstream connects every corner of this land like the veins of a beating heart. Should the dragon succumb to death there, its glut of energy will hurtle through those veins, setting them afire and searing the land to ash and scorched earth. That is the dragon's secret that shall be this land's fate. Nature's course cannot be swayed. Everyone, please, quiet down. Let's review our current situation. Uh, you know what? Let's review the current situation after I come back because I, I am really uh, about to explode. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do that. Uh, we will be back in six, seven minutes. I gotta go take Churro out and I gotta take myself out. So, uh, stay tuned for some more Monster Hunter World. And let's do this. <laughs>
we are back. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> we are back and welcome back to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Ale Wolf, otherwise known as Ales, Gentleman Streamer. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much for playing that. Uh, we are off. <laughs> Are you familiar with uh, the CDI Zelda games uh, in iGo? Uh, very timely, very apt. Um, <clears throat> so as I was saying, gentleman streamer, excellence of an execution, and just for you, Mama Ales, baby boy. Uh, and we are here playing some Monster Hunter World, of course. Um, we just defeated both a Rathalos and a Diapolos, and we're ready to take on our next challenge while we are looking for the gigantic Zora Magnet Rose, which is uh, the most boring monster in this game. Um, but of course, before we continue, before we proceed, let's go ahead and actually... Uh, Alright, talk about what's next up for drinks. And generally, the thing that I like to do is I do like to showcase uh, non-alcoholic beer, just because not every single one of our friends uh, drinks alcohol. Uh, we do like to talk about them. This one... <clears throat> is from our colleagues at Athletic Brewing Company. This is their free wave, non-alcoholic, hazy IPA. It's something that I've showcased before in the past. It's got this nice uh, coastal sunset, uh, and it's like a road. Of course, it's called free wave because it looks like a wave. And honestly, it looks like the Pacific Coast Highway here in California. Um, so what exactly is a hazy IPA, you might be asking yourself. And why do I care about this uh, world of hazy IPAs? Um, of course, IPAs are very bitter beers. They taste like pine salt. They're not really my cup of tea. I, uh, I don't care for conventional IPAs. So why am I drinking this? Well, it has the word hazy in front. And you might be wondering to yourself, well, why does that make things any different? That's just like, you know, uh, putting a shine on a poop and saying that it's edible that doesn't that doesn't make any sense why why are we still talking about this a hazy IPA is different than a West Coast IPA mind you and how so well uh, the thing is uh, that a hazy IPA uses its hop content not for bittering not for evil but it actually uses it for good and the way that it does that is rather than putting the hops during the boiling process it actually throw, uses them during the fermentation process. And so if you boil hops, it's just gonna make the beer bitter. And that's how you get your dogfish head, like 120 million hours uh, boils beers. Um, instead, you push, pitch them in during the fermentation and what this allows the hops to do is to give the beer a, like aromatics, flavor type uh, compounds which you read as tropical notes, like citrus notes. It's actually quite delightful. They're known as juicy as well, just because they're very similar to like tasting fruit juice. They're like orange juice or like fruit juice. Uh, again, pineapple juice is something that ju uh, hazy IPAs are often compared to. The other nifty thing about hazy IPAs, and we're not done yet. The other nifty thing about hazy IPAs is that they're thick. Not like thick boys, mind you, but they're thick in the sense that they are largely unfiltered. They're very similar to like a wheat beer in composition. They're not filtered from fermentation to like bottling, uh, which means that what you have in the fermentation tank, a lot of that is what you get inside your uh, beer bottle or can. And so it gives them a little bit more body. Again, very similar to juice because you're drinking something, it almost feels like it's pulpier, uh, more texture. Um, and yeah, and they're very popular these days. A lot of people don't really care for them. Um, a lot of beer snobs don't care for them. But I like them because I'm a simpleton. I, I, I like I like to drink what I like, and, and that's and that's just my thing. So uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of like a brief history, a brief history in the annals of hazy IPAs. Let's actually see what Untapped has to say on the matter. Let's pull it over here. <clears throat> Okay, so 0.5% alcohol by volume, so it still has just a bit of alcohol. Our free wave hazy IPA is meant for the open road. Please don't drink and drive. 
even if it's just 0.5% alcohol by volume. Whether you're cruising the Pacific Coast Highway in a convertible or tracing your way up the coast on your bike, our free wave doesn't cut corners. This mouth-watering IPA is loaded with Amarillo, Citra, and Mosaic hops. So kind of a refreshing uh, perspective for your mind. It kind of just frames it. You're driving down the road, you're drinking an non-alcoholic beer, cops still stop you and uh, you end up in jail because stop drinking while you're driving. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's exactly, those are, uh, what am I trying to say here? Let's just drink this thing and make up our minds, huh? shall we? And our friend Turo decided to lay not where he's supposed to be laying. You would think that, uh, you know, you make this nice, delicious bed for your dog and he's just like lying there. And then all of a sudden he decides to not be there. And then nobody can see him. Nobody can enjoy him. By the way, I, one of my sound, one of my alerts is to actually feed him. So. If you're so inclined for me to like have uh, have me feed my dog, which I don't recommend because he's been a naughty boy all day, uh, there is an option for that. But again, once we have the das boot here, and as you can see, I don't know if I need to hold this closer, but it is a very cloudy beer. There's a lot of sedimentation there. This is again an unfiltered beer. It's got a lot of body. Uh, it's a pale yellow because it's made of mostly pale malts, as the name implies, India Pale Ale. In terms of a nose, there's definitely some hoppiness there, but not kind of like a rounded hop, a little bit sweeter, a, a little less of the bittery notes. Faganale, dear viewer. Yeah, and some, some very slight sweetness there. I want to say maybe similar to like a dry cider. Uh, not too strong of bitterness to be honest with you like there's some that uh, welcomes you in there's nothing that actually like stays there there's like some slight notes following the post drink like in the tail but nothing like it's not something that uh, I would have to stop and say oh I have to re uh, rinse my palate to actually get that take that off I want to say some slight grapefruit notes there um, a little bit uh, a little bit more like orange peel uh, is, is what I'm sensing here. Maybe some lemon notes as well. Nothing too crazy. So it's like a nice balance between like citrus and sweet. Uh, the citrus being the stronger flavor there. And then some slight bittering notes on the side. So it's quite delicious. Uh, I think Athletic Brewing actually does quite well when it comes to non-alcoholic beers. They're, they're certainly uh, doing a lot of good work and I praise them for actually making good American non-alcoholic beers that don't taste like uh, <sighs> that don't taste like bum. Let's go ahead and give this a rating. 3.25 sounds about right. And cheers, we've got it. <sighs> but that's enough beer talk. Let's go back to our game, shall we? Okay, and so we're in the middle of an important meeting. Uh, give me just a second here, folks. Just a bit of the real life. Uh, of course. Uh, da -da -da -da. And I think we are done. Okay, so we're in the middle of this meeting of the minds. Learned a number of things. What have we learned today? One, Zora Magdros is heading for the Everstream. Step two. Two, and upon its death, it'll release the bioenergy it has stored. Round three. And three, that the Everstream is connected to every corner of the new world. And step four, 
Don't give him your number or he won't leave you alone. So, if Zora dies inside the Everstream, its bioenergy will blast us all to hell. I, I like the fact that uh, apparently not only do we have to go after these things because we want its body parts to make like fun weapons, but also we have to make sure that it doesn't die in the wrong place because otherwise the world explodes. Commander, the commission should make evacuation its first priority. Yeah, let's let's just I'll leave. My sister to prepare her airship. Ah, oh, your sister. There's no time. We don't have any choice but to take down Zora Magdaros. Let's take down Zoggy. Blowing ourselves to oblivion is not what we're trying to do. Correct. And the whole reason we're here is to study the beast's role in the ecosystem. Uh, yeah, I think so. Not erase it from the ecosystem altogether. Um, I think I might have an alternative. What is your idea? What if we tried to lure it away from the Everstream somehow? Like with a piece of meat? I did a little digging, and the Everstream borders the ocean, right? So if we can lure Zora Magdaros out onto the open water... We can mitigate the blast. Mm. And the bioenergy released would start a whole new ecosystem in the ocean. Life would go on. I... what? <laughs> that's a... that's a big assumption right there. Oh, let's just have this thing explode in the middle of the ocean. It'll make a whole new biome. <clears throat> I, I don't. I don't know. Don't worry. I have a plan. Oh, okay. A very big plan. Is that what I think it is? What are you? What are you doing? I like the way he said that. Now we're talking. And unfortunately, ad started in about three minutes. So run away while you still can. Yeah, where's your shirt? Happy to be here. I brought everything you'll need. Ballista, cannon rounds, and a literal boatload of supplies. A boatload, you say? A little surprise. The guild supplied us with one hell of a ship. She's armed with the latest anti-elder dragon weapon. A Dragonator. Ah, Dragonator. Excellent. Is it the D2000? The weapon we need to drive Zora Magdaros out to sea. Hunters, it's time. Complete your preparations with speed and make your way to the Everstream. I'll explain the details on site. We can do this. We must do this. Let's do this, baby. May the Sapphire Star light our way. Now, get moving. Okay. It's time to see Zora Magdaros off. All of us. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I think I think I'm done with Zora Magdaros. <laughs> Now that I think about it, it wasn't until the fifth got here that our research started moving forward. I was hoping you'd be the kick in the rear the commission needed to make progress, but you're more than that. You're a damned force of nature, if this is what you are. Ha! <laughs> I'll just go ahead and pat myself on the back for being smart enough to bring you here. Listen to me. Well, time is running short. You need to get to the Everstream. We'll run through what needs to get done on site. Good luck. Yours, mine, and the guilds. Thank you, Dad. Hey, buddy, we got new stuff. Want to take a look? New products in stock. All right, let's see. Do you have the new iPod? Ooh, power charm and armor charm. The charms. Uh, do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough money to get both of them. Collect them now. Beautiful, look at that. And so, of course, uh, the charms are things that just stay in your inventory and you still get the benefits. So it's good. It's, it's one of those nice things, you know? It's one of those nice things. They just cost a lot. Stop 
Oh, what is this? Nine times at the mining outcrops. Okay, let's register some more and keep, keep this up. And I feel like I'm gonna put some more points into my defense again. I feel like that blasted Diablos kind of just kicked my butt. Bird flavor and capture. Let's go with this. <sighs> Rotten Vale. We're gonna be there anyways. Whether we want to or not. Ooh, look at this. Sure, another forest camp in the ancient forest. And let's up our research here. I don't know, okay. Ad break seems to have started, I think. Wait, where's the... Uh... Where are we in terms of supplies here? Uh, still need a few more rounds. And by a few, I mean a lot. And let's see where the tail raiders are. <sighs> tail raider safari. <clears throat> so they still need about three more quests. I need about three fifty more quests. I, I always take these stairs, even though I know there's a shorter way to do so. And I always forget it, forget about it. Hey, you're just the hunter I was looking for. I'm working on the new specialized tool, but I need help with the materials. Can I talk to you into signing up for the Redefining the Power Couple quest? Right. I ask provisions to put aside what I need once the quest is complete. Whenever you feel like it is just fine. No, oh, that seems like a horrible fight. <clears throat> Never forget why you carry that weapon. Think back to the first time you decided to be a hunter and how heavy it felt the first time you had to swing it. Remember. So what are we hammering together this time? Uh, I remember I needed to harness the power of rock and roll. Let's upgrade my armors. Okay, level 5 is probably where they need to be anyways. I think this is the last low level armor that I'm going to be using anyways. After this, it's high rank or bust. Okay, let's get going. And just a second here, folks. speak to the handler to the manhandler <laughs> before I left for the new world I told my father and grandfather I'm gonna write the book on the new world cuisine I'm gonna track down and catalog every fruit nut and spice there is of course that got a laugh they nodded and said go on and figure out that whole elder crossing thing too hey, so when do I get to hear the exciting story of why you're here come on there partner I'm dying to know. Seriously, what is it? 
Fame, fortune, the glory of the hunt, pirates, assassins, someone special. Aha, I know. Food. It's food, right? It is food. I know now's not the time, but one of these days, you're going to sit down to a big meal and stiff drink, and you are going to spill the beans. We're on the hunt. All right. Are you ready to put some swim trunks on this elder dragon, or what? No. <clears throat> well, our ballista and cannons were more annoying to Sora Magnaros than effective, almost like a noisy swarm of bugs. But the commander says that that's exactly what we need. No one wants to deal with noisy swarm of anything. I'm pretty sure that goes for giant walking volcano monsters too. All we need to do is present a nice, peaceful, stress-free path for Zora to choose over the noisy, swarmy one. It'll take us both, all of us, but we can do it. We'll be the biggest, most annoying nuisance that Lava Fondue Monster has ever come across. I like the cut of your jib. Okay, so, uh, oh, this is, uh, this is level six, okay. So it's at the Everstream. Let's do it. And welcome on in, uh, Hyper Jazz Games. Or should I just call you Jazz? Uh, thank you very much for popping in. How are you doing this fine day? And Jazz is good. Jazz is good. Sorry, I was, uh, I was just taken aback by the fact that, uh, uh, the alert was just like first time chatter and I'm like, wait a second, I never hear that. It is good that you are excellent. How is your Friday moving along? Do you have an excellent weekend ahead of you? Here's hoping that you, uh, do have one. Um. And we're gonna eat some food right now. <clears throat> As I like to say, to your health. Boy, I sure wish I had a pink pompadour. Now that would be uh, queen of style. Oh yeah, I played some Overwatch today and I've just been ch chilling. It's great. Uh, I remember when I was playing Overwatch. Of course, I know. I believe that now it's only Overwatch Two that's available. Correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, I hope you have been doing well. Uh, I've been doing okay. I, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but uh, I'm actually getting over a cold. I generally don't sound as nasally as this, though. Those people that know me will probably tell you I sound nasal all the time. Let's go with this loadout. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. It's uh, it is it is what it is, as they say. It is horribly cold these days. Uh, so much so that um, what was it? I, I was telling somebody the other day that I decided to get like warm gloves to wear, uh, just all the time. But then, of course, the problem with wearing gloves is the fact that uh, you can't really use your digits. Uh, this is a bad example. I'm wearing gloves right now, but um, generally, if I need to use a touch screen, I'll have to take my gloves off, and and it's just like it's just, it's just a thing. So I decided to get these gloves that I found on Amazon, where the index and thumbs uh, actually have little hoodies, so that you can peel them off whenever you need to use your phone. And I was like, well, that's that sounds wonderful. I, I like that's that. I like that. I don't know where I was going with that, but uh, it's a it's a thing. If we let it slip by, it's out of our reach forever. That's why I'm breaking out the big guns. And uh, give me just a second here. One thing that I completely neglected to do, and I apologize for that, is to give you a shout out. So everyone watching right now, stop what you're doing. Stop watching this terrible stream and go follow Hyper Jazz Games. Uh, she's an amazing streamer. Uh, when I caught her last time, she was playing some Elden Ring. And it was just this ball of frenetic energy. I certainly enjoyed it. It was a, it was a good time. And she's probably far better at playing Elden Ring than myself. So kindly give her a follow. Um, and a very uh, accomplished streamer. Uh, One more thing. Let's see. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, oh, they also made gloves that are super to be able to be used with phones. Yeah, so I actually bought some gloves that have are supposed to like have this tactile thing where you actually can use your phone. But for me, they only work like half the time. Like, they're not... Maybe I just bought really cheap ones or something like that. Uh, yeah, they never seem to work for me either. All good. I appreciate the shout out. I'm terrible, but we ball. Hey, you know, uh, you, you do what you got to do. Uh, like I said, the best strategy in Elder Ring half the time is just to run away. My god, it seems like we're going to face like a... Uh, a terrible Godzilla like creature. Okay, let's do it. How is me, a tiny person, supposed to fight this this gigantic thing? I'm good at running away. Yeah, that's uh so w welcome to the club, I, I say. Welcome to the club. I Honestly, every time I get, I'm, I've got the, this building out, Elden Ring where I, I've got the biggest armor and biggest shield, and, and still like people just cut through me like paper. So, I just kind of run all the time. Okay, where is he? I, I don't know. Okay, we are actually on top of Zora Magdaros. Nobody told me. Nobody told me that you had a boyfriend that looked like a girlfriend that I had in February of last year. I think I'm hitting the right thing. Oh, yes, I am hitting the right thing. And Beyblade. Okay, move, move, move. Oof! Wow, that was a close one. I'm uh, pretty good at this. Can you give me a bigger wasp? Is there such a thing here? Probably not. Where's my health? And where is my head? Okay. Whoa! Break it open like an egg. And sing it. Bong! Nice. Move. Ah. This has got to be the worst. Okay. I I'm just like, what is... Why am I walking like that? Okay, try this one more time. Let's crack it open. Move, 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 move. Why do I still... Ladies and gentlemen, somebody put me out of my misery. How many pots have I used already? Like two? Okay, nice. Perfect hiding spot. And smooth. Jeez, every time. I wonder if I should have just used some fire protection or something. Finally. Is that... Is it... Is it actually... Because I don't see actually anything changing. Let's go up. Take a drink. Alright. Let's go in here. It's there. I see it. It's staring at me. Why? Why must I? Easier said than done, old man. <laughs> oh 
Okay. What what hit me exactly? That's fine. I forgive you. I couldn't say mad at you. They're okay. Okay, let's uh let's see if we can eat. No, we can't eat yet. Where's the... Where can I go? It's one of these hitching posts, right? Okay, so... Let's try... I guess let's try and play it slightly more conservatively here. This thing. Move, 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 move. What is what? He's here too. Bonk. I still don't get this whole thing where move, move, move. I guess we'll have to face Nerhigante. Uh, but I could still just destroy this thing, right? Maybe let's do that first. That is ridiculous. How much it explodes. Bonk. Move. How is this possible? Where's my vigor spray? It's not coming, is it? Let's use a potion. Ooh. How long is this thing gonna spray? Jeez. What, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to be doing something else? Okay, so drive off Nargigante somehow. Let's go up. Ah, oh, there's too much fire around here. Where is this guy? Was that him? That was something, right? Am I even climbing anymore? You know, it, it would be so much easier if you could just like give me some guidance as to where I'm supposed to actually head. Okay, so now we're just climbing this ridiculous wall. to the side. I don't know that rocks really fall that slowly, but who am I to complain? Okay, is that... No, that's not... I don't know where you are. I I'm sorry, I, I have failed your mission. Was that him? Look at this giant thing that we scaled. Okay, there he is. Where is he? I don't think he was ever a problem. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I think he was just like hanging out. Whoa, okay. Just everything is fire. Everything is fire. Where is that core?
Okay, attack to weaken Zora Magnaros. I guess we're going back against the, um... Uh, I am indeed on fire, so that is that is very apt. Thank you very much for um, the reminder of my terrible fate in Igo. I don't know where you want me to go. Can I just fall off? Is that okay? I think that's okay. It'll be our little secret. Ah, oh, jeez, fainted again. All according to plan. Hey, that's okay. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Can I get more stuff? Well, at least I can eat. That's something, right? At this point, I'm just like, it's kind of a moot point. Let me get some stuff back uh, from camp. I feel like I don't have enough stuff. It doesn't seem like anybody's in a rush anyways. And let me get my charms. Okay, let's go. Like that Nicktoons show said, let's rock it. Alright, can, can you... You're, you're a little loud. Okay, let's use our cannons. Wait, you're aiming the wrong way, dude. Okay, that, that was useless. Thank you very much for that. Can I move it? Yeah, let's push over here a little bit more. How about that? The most epic battle being faced. And all we're doing is pushing a little cannon. Where's the cannonballs? Fire. I think we gotta move uh, the cannon back away. I like that. Two. Let's move it a bit more this way. The, for the perfect shot. Go, oh, fire, fire, fire. Guys, I don't think we're doing our jobs right. Barrier defense. Well, maybe you should have actually hired somebody capable. How about that? Here. Okay, just fire it. Just do it, Fox. Here you go, Mothra. Okay, can you pl please stop destroying my house? And right in the head, right in the head. Look at that, beautiful. Is that good? Is he done? Let's fire it up. Look at that. Give it everything he's reeling. Is that true? He's probably miffed at best. No, don't! There we go. Okay. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Yeah, I kind of just fell off the... out of existence. Where is he? Where's my first cannon? I like my first cannon. 
There, there it is. Okay, fire it up. Beautiful. And the nice thing about it is we've got a helper. Come on, let's do this. Ooh, look at that. It's like we've got the perfect headshots from this angle. Oh, come on, you! Okay, we gotta move again. <laughs> of course, they have to be Ganon. Alright, we. There's no more cannonballs there, dude. Let's go. Oh, there was one more? Okay, fire it up. I don't think that reached him. Let's move on, let's move on. You certainly seem happy. Uh, yeah. I think this entire mission is an emergency. Okay, nice. You gotta add the at least I'm safe inside. Yeah, actually, I keep thinking about it. Every time I say it, like, why haven't I done that? <laughs> oh, could you just... Can we just, can we just call this a day? This is taking so long. Maybe let's shift this way. Let's shift into turbo. <clears throat> Fire. Oh, look at that, right on the nose. That's the power of the Keyblade. Let's push this way. I don't think there was anything there. Oh, thank goodness I was a little bit away. And there's no more cannonballs. Okay, let's go find some more cannonballs. Bacon, what are you doing over there? What are you doing? Okay, there's cannonballs here. Where's a cannon? Oh, there's one all the way over there. Oh, and there's a helper here. Oh, that's it. Okay, let's fire. What? There's a random bird that just... Okay, more cannons, cannonballs. Cannonball. And apparently I've got an ad starting in about a minute and 30. I'm gonna have to move this a bit. How many, how many do we have? Can you move faster? <laughs> Can you work a little bit faster? Okay, let's go. Yeah. I don't... How am I supposed to determine how, if I'm close or not? Just whether or not it's annoyed. Okay, let's just fire. Okay, this is a team effort. Why is it attacking over there? It's kind of funny that uh, here we are just like blasting on its side and he's just like, I'm gonna attack over here. Oh, no. 
Is he? It doesn't seem like he's doing too much differently than before. Jeez, how many more of this? Okay, we are good to go. A fiver. What is Godzilla doing here? Now. And of course, every single one of them missed. They all missed, folks. What was the point of that? Is there anything in here? Nope. I guess we have to use the... Are there any more cannon cannonballs anywhere? Yes! Here we go. These, of course, are a bit more dangerous simply because they're so close to the enemy. Uh, why is there ridiculous birds just deciding to attack? You're essentially like swa swathing flies away. Yeah, this is a suboptimal place for a cannon. Let me tell you. I have no helpers. Where are my helpers? And let's move it closer to its face. Over here is good. Let's jam. Why are you so happy? Where are you? All right. I, I'm trying. Where are you guys? Let's fire. Okay, how's that? Is it reeling? Because I don't see a change in behavior at all. Okay, no more cannonballs. Let's just fire this one. Oh boy. Oh, there's cannonballs here. Yes. How do we skip all these? Are oh, you telling me? Was there just like a skill for like lifting cannonballs that I missed somewhere along the way? Let's go. Guys, if there was anything to tell me that I'm doing the right thing as opposed to wasting my time, please show it to me now. He's coming, isn't he? We have an emergency. Can you just get the cannonballs? I, I know. I know that this is happening. Fire. Okay, okay and the barrier is still at least over half. So I can't be completely bad at this. Fire. Okay, there's another cannon here, but there's no more cannonballs. Does anybody have cannonballs? Oh, here. You guys are still working with this one? Let's push over here. Uh, wow. Just so... Why would there be a... 
Okay, just fire it. I love how none of those actually landed. What are we even doing here? Yeah, imagine that. If only there was more than one person shooting cannonballs at it. No, I don't think either of those landed. What are you doing? Stop carving! Okay. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. Boom. And that's a thing of beauty. Not the fact that we defeated or trapped or whatever Zora Magdros, but the fact that this fight is over, because uh, I hate it. It's boring, it's long, you can't actually tell what's happening. We did it! Like, it looks like everyone is at war with this gigantic monster, and yet you are the only one that's doing anything. Stop patting yourselves on the back, boys. It's over. Yes. It only took four years. Yeah, that's a that's a bit long. What is that? Uh, mistletoe? Is that mistletoe? I don't think it's mistletoe. I'm no botanist, but that is no mistletoe. And of course, we all remember the movie Gladiator. Grandfather? Hmm. Ready to go home? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? It's like, I'm a Super Saiyan 3. <clears throat> yes, take it all. Palico levels increase. Death begets life. And new safari locales. Change armor pigment. And I think we can finally get <clears throat> high level armor. So all in all, a job well done. Hey, where are you? Uh, over here. <clears throat> Seems like a lot of people have to talk. Uh, excuse me for that. Uh, the terrible biologics are no longer working as well as they once used to. Here we go! I have good news. Listen to this. In the course of that last operation, the Commission's gained possession of a mighty good ship. With her and my 40 years experience with the local waves and weather, the sea shall no longer thwart our efforts. Therefore, I've decided it's best to maintain a regular route between here and the old world. The goal being, of course, to improve our supply provisions and how often we get them. 
There's nothing to it. Me and my new beauty set sail, our friends back home load her up with goodies, and back we come. Easy, right? So I have a tasty proposition for you. If it's all well with you, I can share some of my cargo with you. It's like, would you like this deal where I just give you things? Well, take a good whiff before you go. This is the one place that still smells like home. And so this is the Argozi, of course. Let's go with purchase goods. What What's in here? How many points do we have? We have a lot of points. Let's just purchase everything. I, I don't care. Just just give it. Give me everything. It's not like I'm using those points for anything. So consumables, materials, and trade-ins. Uh, how about one of each? No wait. There we go. Uh, let's see if we completed any bounties. The quicker picker upper. It sure has been quiet lately. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, tell me about what you found. Yeah, okay. I don't think we can complete any deliveries. Nope. I think we're good. We are good. More notes for Zagi. Yes. And some more vouchers. Zagi Maggie. And this box still requires stuff, so I think we're fine. Let's go check. Oh wait, there's somebody wants to talk over here. While you're at the marketplace, What's wrong? tired of resting. I've been putting together our final report on the Elder Crossing. There's so many damn pages, I feel like my arms will fall off. Anyway, you'll have to bear with me while I prepare it for submission. Might take some time. Once I'm done, we can talk about the future of the commission. We might end up disbanding and return home to the old world. We shall see. But if you have any unfinished business here, I suggest you take care of it. Okay. I have some unfinished business. Don't tell me what to do, Grandpa. Okay, so it looks like now we can use the private suite. But where's the safari at? Two more quests. So, yeah, let's go to the private suite, shall we? The sweet life of Zack and Cody. It's like, oh yes, I'm a, I'm a rugged hunter. I need my harp players in my place. Look at this. This is way better than anything I'll ever have in real life. Look at that. Oh yes, let let me uh, let me ponder life here. Can I just say that my armor's kind of dirty? Why would I just sit there? What else is new? I should probably start setting my eyes on new high level armor. It's so quiet now, you'd never know we had any trouble. But it's time like it's times like this that we have to be especially vigilant. You know what they say about the calm before the storm. Well, better safe than sorry, right? That's why you should take a look at my new products and prepare yourself for anything. So, care to have a look? Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay. 
all that rush preparing for Zora operation sure did take a toll on these old bones. So what are we hammering together this time? Uh, let's see. Can I upgrade any of my current stuff? <clears throat> so that's the next level up. No, I th let's see if we can actually make new armor. So this is all rare four. Currently what I have is rare three. Maybe we wait until we start fighting level four monsters and then, and then ladies and gentlemen, we actually start making things. <laughs> ha, this is the life. No more pressing investigations, no more monstrous menaces. I could get used to the peace and quiet. Although there is one thing weighing in on me. Weighing on me. Did you hear about that member of the fourth who got injured while investigating out some suspicious tracks? No, do tell. There was also a Puke Puke sighting in the Wild Spire Waste. That's not its natural habitat. What do you make of it? Hey, Maybe it's time we came out of semi-retirement and went on an expedition. Gotta stay in shape. Tracks were in the Wildspire Waste. What do you say? Want to go have a look? Eh, not really, but I'll. Sure, we'll do it. And welcome, Plus Mecca. How's it going? Um, I'm pretty sure I know you from somewhere, but I don't remember. But feel free to jog my memory. Uh, hopefully, you're not offended by the fact that I don't quite recall. Are you a streamer? I, I think you're a streamer, aren't you? Let's see. Let, let, let me access my memory banks. Mm. Oh gosh, and, and thank you very much for the follow, anonymous follower. I actually don't know who it was because I have it set to... Oh wait, that, that is that is you. That is you, never mind. Sorry, I, I have it an, an, as anonymous for like everyone to see, but then I can actually see who it is on my stream manager stuff. So thank you very much for the follow. Um... Yes, thank you for, for revealing the surprise. And, and and like I was saying, I think I'm I feel like you're a streamer uh, because if you are, I feel like uh I feel like I should say something about that. Uh yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure I've lurked on your channel before. Everyone kindly um stop whatever you're doing. Stop watching this terrible terrible stream and give our new friend Plus Mecca a follow because uh, they are certainly doing it right. I wouldn't follow somebody who wasn't doing it right. Um, so thank you very much for uh, coming along with the ale pack, running with us today. Uh, do I wanna pay with money? No, I don't wanna pay with money. How are you doing this fine afternoon? Here's hoping that you're having an amazing Friday. If, does anybody else here wanna talk? Doesn't seem like anybody else wants to talk. Uh, let's check out the research base, see if there's anything happening there. I'm doing fine. How about you? You know, I read HBU and I wanted to say Halibut, but it is actually how about you? Uh, I'm doing okay. I, I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if I'm disguising it properly. But I am getting over a cold, so I sound extra nasally today. And unfortunately, my colds run for like about two weeks, so it's going to be a rough couple of weeks. But here's hoping that you are in better health. Get well soon. Thank you. Um, I am drinking the best medicine today. Cheers to your health, my friend. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything happen here at the research base. Are you a, are you a fan of Monster Hunter? Uh, might one ask. Have you played Monster Hunter before? Does hearing Monster Hunter uh, tickle you in your funny bones? That's not the expression. That's a terrible expression. Sorry about that. That's that's quite silly. Sometimes we're silly in this channel, but every other time we're dead serious. <clears throat> I don't play it, but I watch my friends do. 
Yeah, it's a it's a it's a fun game when you're um, certainly when you're watching high level Monster Hunter play. It can be a very compelling experience, uh, but that is not what we're presenting today. That is not what we're serving up today. Okay, so let's get some provisions and let's go jump on the next mission. I am thinking that I'm probably going to take a quick bio break before we do that, though, just because I'm getting that uh, I'm getting that feeling. Hey, partner. Let's check out the wild spot. Yes, let's do that. I guess we're just gonna go on an expedition, which is fine and dandy by me. By, by the by, if, if I might ask, if you're still around, if, if you're not around, then I, I guess there's no point in, in you answering the question. But how did you find this channel? Um, I, I'm always curious to, to hear how people actually arrived here. And I always say, you've met with a terrible fate. Um, use this loadout. And let's go ahead and pack our armor charm. Let me just sort this first. There we go. And let's get them. <clears throat> Where'd they go? There they are. And actually, let's make them part of our... Um, loadout. Uh, use loadout, register loadout. There we go. It was recommended. Okay, that's cool. Well, here's hoping that the recommendation actually... Uh, actually matches with your... Uh, well, let's just leave it at actually matches. And of course, it's time to eat. And we do love our protein here, but more than that, we do love our beautiful pink pompadour. Okay, let's get going to Wild Spire Waste. And one of my favorite maps has to be the Wild Spire Way, simply because it's one of the maps where it really th there's only like um, one main level. It doesn't have like this verticality that uh, other maps do, like the Ancient Forest. Now, stop me if you've heard this before, but I, the Ancient Forest is the bane of my existence. I like it. I like it. And we can't call our ranger right here. Rangers. Now we're supposed to find a Puke Puke, which is that little green guy with the gigantic tongue, with the horribly offensive tongue that is. I feel like there are Grimalkine traces nearby. How, how do you know that? Does it stink like kittens? <clears throat> Let's head on over. Ah, apologies for that. I think I see them. Oh, it's this guy. Well, we do love your company, so please tag along. Uh, 
I'll explain on the way. Okay, so this place is jungly, and I feel like the Puke Puke uh, do, does love the, the jungle themes. So I'm going to say that there's a fair chance that it's nearby. What, what do my scud flies say? They are saying nothing. We tagged it. So I, I'm quite not understanding why we're not getting any signal. Yes, it is. What? That can't be right. Something's wrong. Oh, well, don't sound so alarmed. I love the ears and glasses. Huh? Yeah, I uh, I enjoy them too. You know, it was a. Uh... I always like to tell the story where uh, two years ago, when uh, Alewolf happened to be a baby streamer, uh, he thought, well. How do I um, come up with an outfit that will both conceal my identity and also make me look cool? And then I thought, well, I do love Digimon. And the protagonist in that series always wears goggles. So maybe I should do that. Wow, this guy is tough. And so uh, I've kind of made goggles my thing. I kind of just wear goggles. Uh, Every time I stream, and I have like uh, six different pairs of goggles. So here's hoping that you enjoy them. As for the ears, uh, wolves just happen to be my spirit animal. So, uh, and that, as they say, is that. Roll. And I haven't played my song of friendship. Wow. This guy is surprisingly tough. I think it's because it's a high rank monster. And he fell asleep. Beautiful. Let me play this thing. Let's bomb it. Let's do it, Fox. Whoa. Yeah, no kidding. And here we go. Oh, come on. Is he leaving? No, I don't think he's leaving. I think he's just hanging out over there. Playing these days, uh, plus Mecha. I definitely haven't checked in recently. Maybe I should rectify that. Oh, geez, what is he doing? That is gross. Keep it to yourself. Boom. Smash. Nice. And song. Oh, 
Look at that, just sweep with the floor. And... Beyblade! Come on. Nice. And... Impact wave! Oh, come on. Ah. Totally whiffed on both of those. What sadness. What sadness. Sadness is... Life. Smash! Boom. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I've got an ad in progress. Wait a second here while we're waiting for these ads to play themselves off. Okay, then. I think we're good. 40 more seconds. I, I think we can go ahead and keep moving. going to use some health items here the after round self-care nice nice and hello 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 And we are back, back in black. Gonna head out, have fun. Thank you very much for hanging out with us, Plus Mecca. Uh, very much appreciate your time. Uh, here's hoping that the rest of your day plays out beautifully. And here's hoping that we see you again. Oh no, we're underground. And I think we're supposed to be upstairs. There's some Diablo's footprints. The mystery thickens, the plot thickens. But who is Slade? Ooh, a red one. We do love our cherry mining spots. Where is he? Where are ye? Oh, he's, is he flying away? I think he just flew away. you just get hit? Nice. Boom. Beautiful. And soften it up. Good measure.
Where did he go? He is not happy. Oh gosh. Move. I can't hit him in the face as well as I would like. Move. Golf swing. And Beyblade. Whoa. Move! Move! That one was dangerous. And of course, that's a Diablos. It was running away from the Diablos. Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? Okay. Let's keep moving. I think we've got him on the ropes. Yes, we do. And we're probably gonna just trap him because I need to take a break because of reasons. Gotta take our final break for today. And, and honestly, we're already running out of time anyways. So we might have one more hunt after the break and call it. Doodles? Where are the doodles? Uh, the reason why I'm interested in doodles is simply because it'll probably lead me to another set of cats which will give me another another specialized weapon. Oh, there it's sleeping. So let's just go ahead and set a trap. Do I have enough? Yes, I have enough tranks. Beautiful. Good call. Let's go. Oh, what is that? Special mushroom. Let's return. Very cool. And take everything. quest available very cool so let's go ahead and take a break here let me go ahead yes another emergency council session thank you that's exactly what I needed here uh, while we are doing that though let's go ahead and play serenity uh, be right back music so yes let's go with serenity I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
back folks but that is the last break and unfortunately we probably have one more quest in us let's see how far we get on top of this disturbing information is the sudden appearance of older and more powerful monsters the older they get the more powerful they become much more powerful than the types of monsters we're used to seeing around of hunters have already been hurt some with very serious injuries okay well that's uh that's unfortunate Fifth has more information they'd like to add. no I think I think I'm good in terms of adding information but uh, yes, feel f feel free to chat away <clears throat> my opinion is that it belongs to Arathian, but I'm not hundred percent sure then what could it have been Looks like we're out of retirement. I highly doubt this is a coincidence. Oh, okay. Sir, what do you suggest we do, Commander? Our damn jobs. We're a research commission. Get to researching. And while we're at it, we need to achieve two things. First, those dangerous monsters need to be taken care of. I'll be sending our best teams to each area. Okay. Second, we need to pick up where the fifth left off and gather more evidence on that new monster. Let's uh let's roll. Out there. Keep your eyes peeled for any clues. Understood, sir. We won't let you down. Good. But exercise extreme caution. These monsters are nothing like the ones you've encountered before. They're nicer and hardier. Dismissed. 
you can go have a drink with them. Searching for question, 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 rattling tracks. Yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, so now we've got high rank quests. Very cool, very cool. Look for evidence across the continent. Raffian or not, we need to find that monster. And listen up. And it seems like I have to go earlier than I expected, unfortunately. Uh, how about we stick to the mainline quest over here? But like I said, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're going to have enough time to do any of that. Uh, let's just hang out here. I think this is where we uh, hang up our hats, as they say. Let's go back to intermission then. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately, folks, we're going to have to cut this one short. Uh, my partner just messaged me, letting me know that she's uh, on her way back. And uh, yeah, which generally means that I have to wrap things up. So um, that was uh, that was uh, the Ails and Fails Twist stream for today, February the 9th, February the 9th, Friday. Uh, here's to bid you a great weekend. Thank you very much for everyone that joined us today. Very much appreciate your company. We certainly made it all the way to high rank, so that that's some progress. Hey, Ivan, good to good to see you. Thank you very much for popping in. Uh, unfortunately, we just happened to be wrapping wrapping things up, so uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't chat today. But once again, as always, thank you very much for uh, for popping in. You truly are the great. Um, so if you like this kind of nonsense, if you like this sort of banter, uh, if you like uh, weird people wearing goggles and ears, then tune in next week. Next week we'll actually be starting a new retro game. I am aiming, I am 90% sure that we will be playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It will be the first time that I play this game and it is a classic. It, it is like one of the two games that created the Metroidvania genre, so <clears throat> kindly look forward to it. I was lurking. All good. Okay. Well. Well. Awesome. I, I'm glad that you were you were hanging out. Thank you very much once again for for your viewership and your company. And here's hoping that you have an amazing weekend ahead of you. Uh, so yeah, next week we'll be doing Castlevania. I don't know if I'll be able to stream on Friday, but I'll definitely be able to stream on Thursday. So uh, look forward to seeing my schedule posted in all the social medias if, if you're so interested. And if you simply felt disgusted by everything that you saw today, you were just like. Why is this guy here? Why is he talking about beer? And, and like, why does he play Monster Hunter so poorly? Then, then you know what? I, I don't know why we're still having this conversation. You can just find something better to do, I think. Um, but yeah, um, all that being said, have a, have a wonderful rest of your week. You know, this is this is the point where I would have like another beer, but I, I, I happen to run out. And, and like I said, unfortunately I have to run. So so we're gonna have to do this with water, which is, which is anathema, which is a sin, but but you know what? We'll we'll do it this way. Uh, let me get rid get this ready. And I don't think we have enough viewers to raid. That's fine. We don't need to raid every time. We can raid sparingly. As I like to end these things, stay thirsty, Alpac. We'll see you again.